Bonjour, everybody. Thank you for uh, tuning in to another video. And if you're familiar with my channel, you know I love all cars. Uh, it doesn't matter what it is. It could be like a car that's barely street legal, all the way up to a hypercar, which is the ultimate car now with lots of horsepower, the fastest car you could ever want. But I love all cars. It doesn't matter what it is. Well, uh, I have some very cool castings. And these are all ones I've found used. I don't have any new versions of them. Well, let's take a look at the first one here. <laughs> Try to be coy here. Well, here is a very cool Le Car or Renault 5. Well, it says Renault Le Car, but it is known as a Renault 5. And this is very cool casting by Hot Wheels. Now, this one is not in the best shape, but it's all there. Uh, the windows are still in good shape. The wheels kind of flop around a bit. And uh, very cool little casting. Now, I don't want to go into the history because you can search anything on on the interweb, <laughs> you know, and uh, this is a very cool little casting by Hot Wheels, like I said, and it is the Hot Wheels Renault Le Car, and it's actually made in France. Now, if we get in close there, it's copyright 1982. Now, it's got a plastic chassis, and it's got the black wall uh, uh, Hot Wheels wheels. <laughs> And overall, it's a pretty nice little casting. Uh, this one could be easily restored. And <laughs> look at the wheels. Uh, like, okay, obviously, uh, you know, the axles are too wide for this one. But I do have a better version right here. I uh, don't want to show you the other ones yet. And so this is very cool. So this is one I'm definitely keeping original. And uh, same thing. Well, but... It's in very nice shape. And so that's very cool. Like, uh, I don't know how many Hot Wheels were made in France, but I've got a couple of them now. And these ones I found a long time ago. And I would really like to do a custom on that one. And at least make it look uh, more cool, modern. I don't know, whatever. <laughs> and... Well, this one's very nice, so it's great to have a cool example. And then a third one I found is this green one. Okay, Demi, you don't like green, but hey, green's a cool color. And it's got the same color interior as the rest of them. And it's in pretty nice shape, too. Now, it doesn't have the best paint job, I guess, but, you know, it's in pretty decent shape so i really like this a lot so we we'll put these off to the side and then the next cool ones i have well uh back in the 70s there was the uh, gas crisis in north america and uh people with big cars well uh you know uh gas was scarce back in around 74 and so uh, that's when the Japanese cars really took off and everybody wanted to get into smaller, more fuel efficient cars. And while well, Renault, back in the late 70s, thought, well, we could sell some really efficient cars that people might like. And this is a matchbox. So it's got the trailer hitch and then it's got this plastic opening hatch. Uh, let's see, well, uh, uh <laughs> I got fingernails here, All right, let's, I can do, shake it open, but oh my goodness, okay, it should open this way, there we go, <laughs> anyway, so this is a car that Renault thought, well, we could sell in North America, fuel efficient, this is a made in England, and it's copyright 1978. And so very cool. Metal body, metal chassis. Uh, this one is probably the best shape I have. 
and you can still make out la car and the stripe that they had on the car when they sold it in North America. Now, of course, like I said, it's the known as the Renault 5. But I absolutely love this one. And because I love Matchbox, so that's why I love it. And very cool there. So I got a silver one. And then I have a yellow one. And once again, the hatch opens up. Well, all the hatches open up, obviously. It's the same casting, but this is a, a yellow uh, version. And made in England. And I got three other models. And one that has uh, almost no tapos left on it, except for above that uh, uh, rear wheel there. And so this would be another one that I would like to... Uh, Restore, customize, and so as you can see, you got Matchbox and Hot Wheels, and they, you know, pretty close in size. And so let's slide these ones over, and love these little castings. And even in rough shape, they're still very cool. And then a second, well, one, two, well, one, two, three. Third color is this blue one. But it's got some splattered paint on it, which is too bad. But overall, this one's in very nice shape. I don't know if there were tapos on this one. And it's another made in England. And let's see, that's a flat and that's a shiny. So a shiny base and then a flat black base or a satin base. So very nice there. And of course, they have to mold the hatches in whatever color the car came in. And, well, the blue one looks pretty good. The silver one, well, okay. The hatch looks gray compared to the silver. And then the yellow is pretty good. Well, then the fourth version I found is this kind of rally version. Rally Le Car. With the Coney sponsor and Michelin tires. Number four. And the temples are in really nice shape. So it's very cool to find this one. And then got the white hatch. And well, they all have the same tan interior basically. Except for this one with red. So this is very cool here. Love that one. And uh, another made in England. So very cool to have the four different versions of it. And well, five if you consider two colors. And then of course, uh, let's see, which is the next oldest ones? Well, I think Corgi Juniors are. And there you go there. So Renault 5 Turbo. Now this is the rally car version where uh, they actually had the engine in the back. And very cool casting by Corgi, and they were using, I think, the paper decals as well. No, uh, that's Tapo. I thought it was like Matchbox where they had paper decals, but no, those are uh, nice enough decals. And you got these big mirrors on it, separate pieces that are, oh, uh, I'm not sure if that's part of the interior or not. But very cool, love the casting. And you see that slot, so that's where it was attached to the package that it came in. It's got a trailer hitch, I don't know why you want a trailer hitch on a rally version. And then of course I got a second one. And uh, one of them is in better shape, but they're still in very nice shape each. And yeah, so very cool to have those two. And then we go to the bigger Corgis. You know, these aren't Corgi Juniors, they're the regular Corgis. And here you go there, made in Great Britain, Renault 5 TS. So this would be the stock version. And it's got opening doors. And it's in pretty nice shape. Uh, part of the bumper's broken off there, but when you find something used like this, overall, it's in great shape, I think. 
and uh, the hatch opens on the back. Oh, there's a little handle here actually. <laughs> and so how cool is that? So I love that one. Very nice by Corgi. And then of course they would come out with the Renault 5 Turbo made in Great Britain. And this is another very nice casting. Now this one has opening doors. It doesn't have the, oh, it does. <laughs> Sorry. And it has the opening hatch as well. So I think they've, uh, well, they had to change everything on the casting. Maybe the doors are the, the same. But how cool is this? And, you know, it's in rough shape or play-worn shape. Well, I wouldn't say rough. It's still in pretty decent shape. You know, a little dirty. And there's the engine in the back. So how cool is that one? And then the last pair of, well, R5 turbos. R R5? Why am I talking about uh, it? Renault 5 Turbo, and this, well, they're calling it Maxi, and this is a Majorette made in France. And so, very cool, 153 scale. So, this is very nice little casting I found used as well. And absolutely love this one, because I love the Majorette brand. And this is more like uh, the new Majorettes right now. So they could easily reissue this one, and uh, it would be immensely popular. And then we have more of a street version, whereas that's a racing version. Look how cool that is. And uh, let's see, turn the chassis around. So R5 Turbo, whereas this one, you look at the bottom, and it's the... Maxi 5 Turbo. This one actually has a date, 1985. Wow, that's rare for a Majorette to include a date on it. So there you go there. <laughs> Very cool castings. So I hope you enjoy La Car and all its various forms from Hot Wheels, Matchbox, Corgi, and Majorette. So thank you very much for watching. If you like what you're seeing, give me a sub, hit that like button, and I'll catch you in the next one.